long. I don't. I think I forgot I talked to a camera. Honestly, <laughs> it's very similar to my to my first video, uh, booktube newbie tag. I had no idea, and it's just really awkward. So I feel really awkward right now. But we're just gonna roll with it and see how things go. Um, yeah. So <laughs> welcome to the channel, reading between the lines. Uh, this is a channel where we talk about books and things of that nature. I'm your host Brandon, and again, welcome. Welcome back if you are, if you're a current subscriber or I don't know, just welcome to the video. And so today we're gonna be we're touching on the Alchemist. Um, I've reviewed this already. You can check it out. I'll put it up in the card. Uh, but I'm just gonna touch on really just the quote on the back, honestly. And also, man, um, the support on the channel has been crazy and. That's the, the main reason I wanna make this video is literally just to say thank you to everyone who's supporting Reading Between the Lines and myself. Uh, it's crazy It's crazy to think about, because I made this channel, or I uploaded my first video in December uh, last year, 2019, and it's, I don't know, beginning of May, and I have, I think, I think at the time of this recording, uh, it's like 520 subscribers. And th that's a lot for, for some people, and that's nothing to others, but to me, to me, it's like, it's huge. Because I had another channel, or I have another channel, it's a fitness-based channel, and it only has, not only, but in comparison to this, it only has 300 and something uh, subscribers, which is like, it's crazy because I started that channel back in 2018, and I, there was a lot of work put into a lot of videos, and the support wasn't there, and I think I think it might have been just because it was the fitness, the fitness realm, or maybe I just didn't have the right vibe, maybe I wasn't supposed to be in that, uh, like be a YouTuber there or whatever, I don't know. But regardless, in five months I picked up, or I've, I've, in five months, this community has been created of like, of, like I said, about 520 subscribers. And it's crazy to me. It's crazy to me that that, that many people would want to see me talk or listen to advice or listen to reviews or just hang out, you know? It's, it's, when, it, when a community is created, it's not about one person, it's about everybody. That's why it's called a community, you know? And uh, I don't know. I just think it's I think it's really really cool. I remember my buddy Lionel. Uh, I'll put his stuff in the description. If you've been here, if you you know if you've been an OG from the beginning of in December five months ago, you know who Lionel is. Um, he's a, he's a good buddy of mine. And he's helped he's helped me with a lot of things. When he hit 1K subs on his channel, I remember I was at work, and uh, I was like, bro, we got we got we got a live stream that or like we gotta we gotta find a live count. And I'll screen record and make a video and all that. And I just remember the energy that was behind that, man. It was just like, it was so dope because it was two two dudes just like nonstop having fun creating, bouncing ideas off of each other. Like it was just so much fun. And then he hit 1K, which is a huge milestone, especially for him. And uh, we were like, we were on the phone. I was like, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Like, I, I got it just, that was so much fun. Um, so I, I'm feeling that same energy. Like I hit 500 subscribers and I was like, huh? Like, it, like what? And I was I was talking to my girl and it was just I don't know man it was so cool so I got this, I'm coming I'm recording this video with with a lot a lot of gratitude and uh, again just thank you all so much the OGs from the beginning the close homies the people who who've been commenting in you know the past few weeks I've I've not, I have not taken my eyes off the channel at all I've been replying to as many comments as possible which I'm pretty sure all of them unless some got sent to the spam folder or whatever. I replying to everybody. Everyone's like, yo, keep it up. Keep making videos. I love this. I love that. I'm having conversations with people in the comment section. And it's so dope. It's, it's just so dope. And I, I feel ready now to, to get back on uh, and start, you know, doing reviews and stuff like that again. I'll get into that in a second. Uh, but again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who's supporting RBTL, Reading Between the Lines. Um, I, it's, it's, it's so awesome. Again, it's huge for some people, small for others, but it's it's super, super, super awesome for me. So enough about that. Um, the other part of the video that I just want to hit on real quick is kind of this right here, create, creating the life you want. Um, I bet I've had a little bit of struggle. So again, I'm not going to get too deep. I don't want to make this about me. I just kind of want to chat for a second, get some stuff off the dome here. Um, but yeah, I went through some stuff and I had to kind of like reevaluate. And that's why I take it. I've taken a break for, for the last couple months, um, uploading and whatnot. And one of the things, the main thing that kind of, um, kind of, kind of pushed me, you know, into this, into this whole like murky water thing that I dealt with was letting too much, too much influence me. And, uh, and I, I, that's dangerous, you know, for, for most people. I know there's some people that can handle it. I know personally, some people that can handle a lot, which is cool. You know, it's great, but that's just not me. I can handle, I can handle a lot, but I was, I put on more than I can handle. 
And um, this, like I said, creating life you want. And this quote on the back of the alchemist, to realize one's destiny is a person's only obligation. So what I was doing was I was trying to realize what everybody wanted my destiny to be and then acting on that, you know? So I had, for example, I had one friend who wanted me to, wanted me to be a football player. Then I had one friend who wanted me to be a power lifter. Then I had one friend who wanted, to, wanted me to be the, I don't know, person in the world who can eat the most pizza. And I was doing all this at once and it wasn't making sense, although those might make sense together. It's probably just a bad analogy. I, I told you guys, when I'm, when I'm in front of a camera right now, my brain is just like, yo, make a joke, make people laugh. And then I say joke. I'm like, that might have been funny. And then it wasn't funny. Uh, and then I just start rambling. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, it's just, <clears throat> I let too much in. And I wish, I, you know, I, I wish I didn't when, when I was, you know, in that, the murky waters, as I like to say. I wish I didn't let it all in. But right now, there's a lot of lessons in there for me to learn. And I think I needed that for me to grow in the way I'm growing, in the direction I'm growing. And again, I'm going to bring up Lionel. Basically like, basically like my older brother. Keep me in check, calling me out when I need to be called out, supporting me when I need to be supported, loving me, loving me like a brother when I need to be loved like one. And uh, I don't know, I, it's just, uh, life, life's, <laughs> life's crazy, man. And in, in this book, The Alchemist, it's talking about the kid Santiago, how no matter no matter what he runs into, man, he, he always has that, the thing he wants, the thing he's going after, the thing he started the journey for, it's always in the forefront, you know, of his thoughts. And that's kind of, that's kind of what I've learned to do, you know, these past couple months, especially with this quarantine stuff going on, being isolated and uh, or being supposed to be being isolated or supposed to stay in isolation. I can't talk right now. <clears throat> um, but me, I have been, man. Not, you know, 98% of the time I've been in my house just just hanging out, not really doing anything because I didn't want to I didn't want to put any stress on myself to have to do something because that was what got me, you know, in that foggy mindset that I was in. So, um yeah, man, I don't want to make this video too long, too personal. Again, just want to thank everybody for the support. And, and you know, this quarantine time is a really, really weird time. You know, most people haven't experienced something like this. You know, being out of work for so long, and a lot of people, you know, millions of people being out of work for so long, toilet paper scarcity. Uh, speaking of, I'm going to link Lionel's video. He did this video, a Q&A video, and the intro to this video, if you made it this far, we're seven minutes and 45 seconds in, roughly. If you made it this far in the video, please check out the, the intro to Lionel's video. I'll put it up in the cards and in the description below. The intro was absolutely genius. I freaked out in his comments. Uh, I told, I uh, messaged him on Facebook. I texted him, I called him, yo. Absolutely brilliant. So if you made it this far in the video, uh, just just check it out and if you, if you get over there just let them know how good it was because it was like it was like straight up Hollywood genius man it was it was it was great so long story short thank you um, read the documents check out my review uh, and yeah man just keep like my mom always used to say keep on keeping on no matter how hard how rough the water gets no matter how shaky the road gets no matter how rough the weather gets, whatever it is, man, just keep on, keep that dream in the for forefront of your mind. And, uh, you know, just, just keep it OG and keep it, you know, be real with yourself. Understand that everyone has limits. Understand that everyone is going to have trials and tribulations, but understand that everyone is also strong enough to get through them things. And, um, you know, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. I, I'm glad I can share this very, very brief opinion. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I'll start a podcast or something. And uh, maybe maybe it'll be with Lionel. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe something maybe something will, will happen to where to where these thoughts can be uh, you know brought up to or brought up on a deeper level. You know. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for thanks for watching the video. Thanks for tuning in again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm super super grateful. This is gonna be my thumbnail right here. All right, there it is. Thumbnail. And uh, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.